Happy New Year! Today I wanted to share some reflection Q&As with you and I figured it would be perfect going into 2022, so please join me. Welcome to The Bold Encourager, I'm Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything. It just allows for me to get my positive, encouraging messages out to everyone. So today, I wanted to share some reflection Q&As with you. Since we're going into 2022, I figured it'd be good to reflect on 2021, and maybe these are questions you can ask yourself as well as you go into 2022. And let's make 2022 a good year, right? What was the best thing that happened last year? I want to start on a positive note. So the best thing that happened last year was that I found myself growing in the Bold Encourager and really learning a lot about myself. And I feel like that was the best thing that happened. There was a lot of good things that happened, but the best thing is growth. I felt like I grew the most on 2021, so I feel like this is a... It was more of a growing experience for me. <laughs> a lot of challenging things happened. So I definitely see the challenge has helped me grow as an individual and my patience got better through this year. And that was something that I struggled with greatly and I feel like I'm getting better with being patient in the waiting on things and 2021 helped me with that. I mean, 2020 kind of started it, but 2021 really helped me to see that and grow. What was your favorite moment? My favorite moment of 2021 was turning 40. It wasn't the easiest turning 40, but my mom came out and we spent a lot of time together and we had a, a great time. And then also my sister flew me out to Colorado and we had a great time together. So turning 40 wasn't so bad and it was my greatest moment because it really helped me step into 40 feeling good so that was my most favorite moment was celebrating my 40th birthday this next question is how did you fail so I feel like I failed in this area with 2021 was I wasn't completely fearless I was fearful a lot of the times of things happening and it definitely affected me being bold and I think that a lot of times I can be bold but I'm really trying to work on being fearless in every situation I think that fear kind of takes a grip on me when a lot of bad things are happening all at once I have a hard time getting past it so I definitely could work on that and it was something that I failed at because I was even at times feeling worrying about failing you know this channel and not being able to do well in it and so at times I was like maybe I don't want to do this anymore and maybe I want to just give up I didn't end up giving up so that I did overcome but the thing that I still struggle with is being fearless so I do think I fail there so let's make it happen in 2022 that I become fearless how would you describe this year in three to five key words good question I always thought that you know because of 2020 being the way it was, 2021 was going to be my year. Unfortunately, it wasn't exactly. There's a lot of good things that happened this year, but I still feel like it was definitely a difficult year. Overcame, difficult, and transforming. So those are my three key words for 2021. What are you thankful for this year? I'm thankful for a lot. I really am thankful for family, friends, my dogs, I realize more than ever that life is short and so many people are going through so much stuff when it comes to loss that I have to say that I'm most thankful for the times, the memories that we have with the people we love because it is just so unique. It's so, um, sometimes we take it for granted. I know I did and my life has changed knowing that memories and friends and family and and your your pets or your children whatever that is something to be really grateful for there's many things to be grateful for and last question how kind were you to yourself 
gosh, that's a difficult one. I would say, you know, I, sometimes I'm hard on myself and I don't think that I do things well and I feel like I could always do stuff better and I'm not always kind to myself. Um, it's easy for me to be kind to other people, but being kind to myself is very difficult because I think that I feel, like I told you, I criti I'm very critical of myself. I'm not very critical of others, but I am critical of myself. And I feel like there's a lot of times where I almost look for perfection in myself. So if that's something you struggle with, I'm gonna encourage you not to do that. Uh, let's work on this together. Let's be kind to yourself upcoming year. Let's do a little bit of self-care and just turn this whole baby around and make a good year. Uh, so those were my questions that I wanted to answer. They're reflection questions that you can ask yourself because we really need to reflect on last year and be better this year. So let me finish with a fun, something really fun. I wanted to share with you some traditions in different countries. My mom always was telling me about this, but in the Korean New Year, they do tokak, which is it tokak? I don't even know what I'm saying right. Tokak, which is a Korean rice cake soup. So that is their tradition to eat that every New Year. And actually the Korean New Year is February 1st, which is different from us, but that's what they do for New Year. And so I'm going to go over a few more uh, interesting, unique traditions that in other countries that I think you'd find interesting. Spain does this for their New Year to celebrate. They eat grapes for good luck. So that, I thought that was really interesting. Uh, another one that was really interesting is that in Russia they plant underwater trees. In Italy they wear red underwear. In Chile they chill in cemeteries. Isn't that interesting? I don't know if I want to celebrate my New Year's in a cemetery. How about you? In Japan they slurp soba noodles. In Denmark they smash plates. In Ecuador they burn scarecrows. In Greece they pummel pomegranates. Another thing they do in Russia which is interesting is they drink ashes which is crazy and in Ireland they sleep on mistletoe. So there's many great things that you can see that they do all over the world to celebrate New Year's Eve. How are you going to celebrate it? We can celebrate ringing in the New Year, toast with our champagne glasses, countdown, uh, to the new year and maybe there's a new tradition you want to do with your family. I actually kind of are really interested in the ones that they do all over the world. Maybe one year I might bring in the new year with some of their traditions. I just think that would be so interesting. Well, happy New Year's Eve. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Every Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I will post a new fun video, and you don't want to miss it, so go ahead and hit that notification bell. If you haven't followed me on social media, please follow me on social media. The links will be down below. Well, I hope you have an amazing New Year's Eve, and I hope you stay encouraged. Say goodbye, Lou.